wildlife filmmaker John Varty was preparing to release a young leopard back into the wild. The cat had only one thing standing between her and freedom. She needed to learn to hunt. But JV worried that despite her natural instinct, her lack of experience could lead to disaster. When you do this kind of project, you walk a very fine line. On the one hand, you want your leopard to gain experience. On the other hand, if you get it wrong, you can have a dead leopard and no project. So one morning she goes out and starts to stalk a herd of zebra. Now zebra are not really known as a dangerous prey animal. A zebra stallion will use well-placed kicks and vicious bites when defending his herd against hunting predators. The herd stallion whipped around, took one look at the size of this leopard, said, this leopard can't do anything to me, I'll attack it. Fortunately, she ran for her life, but the stallion was right on her and he was chopping with his front feet. And in one moment, I thought, this is the end of my leopard. So I fired shots in the air. In a split second, the leopard's agility saves her life. It looks quite humorous now, but I can assure you at that moment, if that zebra had caught her with a hoof, he would have broken her spine. The cat's lack of experience almost got her killed. You would think that experience would have taught her a whole lot. Well, apparently she didn't learn that much. Within a few days, she's out stalking the local territorial pukul male. Puku antelope may look small and dainty, but males carry up to 21 inches of strongly ridged horns, perfect defense weapons. So out she goes into a game of cat and mouse, life and death. The puku's trying to stab her. She jumps away, dances away, circles the puku. Again, I'm in two minds. Should I fire shots or should I let it go? One stab from that puku's horns would have been the end of the leopard. And on two or three occasions, the shots show that the horn was virtually right through her. It was just her agility at the last minute which saved her. 